1996, he participated in the launch of kicking, out, kicking polio out of Africa. And by 2020, indeed, polio was kicked out of Africa. He put up a spirited, he put up a spirited fight on cancer. Sadly, I do not think it has reached where he desires or he would have desired to have fought cancer. He died at a time when our regional referral hospital, Ginger Regional Referral Hospital, which is in his constituency, at least has made a step in the, has made a step in the fight against cancer. We have a cancer center that can only test. It cannot treat. But even when it is to do with the testing, it is a bit weak because we are doing very weak tests like the pap smear, the rapid test. We don't have a mammography, so we can't, do, we can't test for breast cancers and all that. But these are programs that the government is actually putting in place. They are cascading cancer treatment from the National Cancer Institute down into the regional referral hospitals. How I wish that Ginger is among those regional referral hospitals that actually are earmarked to, in, to start with this program. Dr. Honorable Manji, Roman MP Ginger. The city. Switch on. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity you've given to me to pay tribute to our own Honorable Chamber. Right, Honorable Speaker. I was worried when you started mentioning leaders from Ginger City and you were not mentioning me. I, so I kept on wondering how you could talk about Ginger City and you don't talk about I myself, a senior leader from the city. <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, it is very unfortunate that we've lost a great leader who has served this country in different capacities with passion. As Ginger City, I want to say that we've lost a senior resident, a man of wisdom, and a person of value to the people of Ginger. The late Honorable Chamber has been a man of wisdom. And we've been consulting, we've been going to his place and make consultations about many matters concerning Ginger City, the country at large. And he has been ready and available to offer free information whenever approached. Thank you. The Right Honorable Nakadama, the Honorable Barbaranda, Honorable Brandon, uh, Honorable Haj Idi Isavidia, uh, Honorable Nsaba Buturo, for now. Honorable colleagues, I'm going to give you an opportunity. It's the only item we have today. Yeah. Thank you so much, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I stand here to support the motion to pay tribute to the late Honorable Chamber Chisada Henry, who is a born of Bunya, which is the present Mayugenau. The late Chamber and his family originated from Mayuge district. But because Honorable Chamber has been a peace-loving person, there is a lot to say about him, but maybe I can mention one, that in that area of Mayuge, there is a very big chunk of land belonging to them. And parts of that land 
are occupied by squatters. But we've never had any scandal concerning that land and those who are occupying it. Honorable Chamber, practice mature politics. In the late, sorry, around 1961 and 1962, Honorable Chamber's brother, who was the elder brother called Honorable David Nabeta, stood with Honorable Shabani Nkutu, who is also my uncle, during the elections of Busoga Southeast Parliamentary seat. But after contesting two consecutive times, Honorable Chamber remained a close friend to the family of the late Shabani Nkutu. And even after the death of my uncle, Shabani Nkutu, the late Honorable Chamber, whom we are mourning here today, remained in that family and continued supporting them in that situation they were in that time. I want to say that we should continue also practicing mature politics and we should not bring in the common sense like it was said by one of the leaders here at certain times. Common sense should be coming in at all times. I thank you. May the soul of the late Honorable Chamber rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Right Honorable colleagues in the VIP gallery this afternoon. We have uh, Right Honorable Nantongo Ziwa, former Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly. She's come to observe proceedings. Thank you. Uh, in the public gallery this afternoon, we have students and teachers of Proverbs Junior School, uh, Samia Bugwenos, uh, Busia District. They are represented by Honorable Murimba John and Honorable Auma Heren Wandera. They've come to observe proceedings of this house. Please join me in welcoming them. The Honorable Mary Barbaranda, colleagues, I, I already picked you, so it should be in your order. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members. Right Honorable Speaker, I support the motion and also I stand here to celebrate the life and achievements of a distinguished statesman, an opinion leader, an elder, a civil servant, a father, and a friend of many, Honorable Henry Chisada Chamber. Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, Honorable Chamber will always be remembered for his contribution to the liberation of Uganda from the murderous regime of President Idi Amin Dada, where he served as Minister of Health. Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, through his book, A State of Blood, he painted an accurate picture of the real crisis which Uganda was in and which needed nationalists to reverse the trend of going into Toto Anarchy. Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, besides Honorable Chamber being a statesman, Mzei Chamber was a revolutionary and a liberator who contributed greatly in the struggle for a free Uganda. Right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, unlike many elders who retire and become source of conflict and intrigue in society, Honorable Chamber was a man of peace and of good counsel. 
I thank His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, retired General Yoed Kaguta Mseven, for granting him an official burial for his contribution and a rich legacy of a great son of Uganda. And also, I want to thank the National Organizing Committee for steering this function. I wish to extend my sincere condolences to Mama Janet, the widow, Mama Janet Chamber, the believed family, the people of Busoga, and Ugandans at large. Right Honorable Speaker, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, blessed and the dead who die in the Lord henceforth that they may rest from the burdens or the laborers and their works do follow them. May the good soul of Honorable Henry Chamber rest in eternal peace. 